Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to connect an electric throttle for an e-bike up to an ESC or VESC using a little servo tester. So, let's get started. So first of all I'm going to disassemble the servo tester. I'm going to remove the knob off the top and take the circuit board out from inside, gently peeling it off the sticky tape. And we don't need this anymore so I need to put that to the side. So as you can see, inside here we have the potentiometer, three LEDs, the input which is where we're going to solder on our throttle and then the output which is where we're going to connect our ESC. So next job is to desolder this potentiometer, so let's get on with that. Okay, so now that I've desoldered the potentiometer from the board, I simply did this by heating up the pads on the back and then gently pulling it up and making sure that I didn't damage any of the solder tabs. Next I've got to make a jumper lead from this pin here to the centre hole of where the potentiometer would have been and I think I'm going to do this on the bottom because there's slightly bigger spots to solder onto so that's what I'm going to do next. So as you can see I've just soldered the small bit of wire onto this pin here and now this needs to go into the centre pin there. So I've now fitted that wire in there and I'm just going to add a dab of hot glue onto each connection so they don't come loose and then place a bit of electrical tape over the top. So I've now added two tiny little bits of hot glue on each point and I'm just going to add a bit of electrical tape over the top. So now that we've got the jumper lead soldered on, a bit of tape on the back, I've now got to connect up the throttle to this and I'm going to solder onto these pins here. So I've now soldered up the throttle to the servo tester with the black wire going to the negative, red wire going to the positive and the green wire going to the signal port and then still a bit of tape on the bottom which leads there into the middle pin of where the potential motor would be. Next is to connect up the ESC. So next we just att attach the ESC or VESC. This can simply be done by using the servo cable and just plugging it in to the top like that and we're all good to go. I added a small bit of electrical tape onto there just to make sure that they don't, if they get wet or anything they don't touch each other or short circuit. So that's it, all done. Now for the test. And now this should work. All you have to do is ensure that the LED is on uh, channel 1, otherwise it won't pick up on the other channel. Thanks for watching.